Hello everybody, it's me Magma and I am finally here with something you guys have been expecting and waiting for quite a while now for a few of you who actually knew I was actually actually told you guys I was getting this and it is yes, the visual dictionary updated and expanded from LEGO Star Wars. So yes, I have the new expanded um, and updated visual dictionary so I still have the old one and I will be talking a bit about it. And um, compared to the old one, I have finally, well actually the people who actually managed to get this for me, there, I finally got the minifigure version and not the um, non-minifigure version. So uh, that's pretty cool, we're actually going to build the figure and talk about it. So, um, I will be making a bit of reference towards this book, but not that much. So yeah. So before we actually get into the book, I want to actually talk a bit about it. I do want to mention that this is its previous version, you can... So yeah, um, many people actually do know that version and it's all just... It's a slightly... Slightly different, you can probably tell the difference right here. And um, as far as I know, the new Visual Dictionary does not have a excerpted version, which um, it says here, and um, this was a very cheap version of like five dollars compared to this one. Um, I don't suggest you guys getting this because you don't get the timeline. You you get um, less information on each of the things. So yeah, this is really a, a pocket edition that's uh, being excerpted. And as far as I know, there is no version of this for the new one. And I'm not sure if I have seen the new one without the minifigure, but um, there actually will be, and I'm pretty sure that if I actually do a few research now, um, I will be finding it. So yeah. So um, we're actually gonna get into this. This one goes up to 2014 with only um, four or five of the. Summer set, which is very disappointing, it's the only con to this book is that when they made this book, they could have just easily added like two, three pictures of the new upcoming sets. I mean, they're missing the B Wing, the Snow Speeder, that, um, that other how do you call that thing now? That Yoda Chronicle set, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Oh, oh the MTT, but we didn't know. Um, that was actually an MTT when we actually made this book. When they actually made this book, so I'm, I mean, it was not hard to just add uh, a picture that would actually, you know, give a clue to everyone what that new set was. Because keeping the secret of something you're going to sell is not the best way to sell it, except for some sets in Lego Star Wars that probably everyone is wanting to get. So, with that being said, we're actually going to dive into the book itself um uh i'm pretty sure um you guys will see when uh, we get to 2014 please tell me in the comments which set i'm missing i'm missing because i don't know all of them in my head so we'll dive right into the book we're gonna start off with the minifigure so yeah i actually do need to get this camera tripod right there and um, here is a look at the front cover. This um, this figure is exclusive to the book, and it is Luke Skywalker from the original Moss Eisley Cantina. So yeah. So so we're actually gonna zoom in, and I'm actually gonna open it. Or kind of stupid. I'm actually gonna zoom out. So um, before I actually build it, I want to mention all um, of the promotional figures are usually some very well-known um, characters, some main characters most of the time. Here on this pad, I have Han Solo from the um, character encyclopedia with the medal. It's always some promotional. Uh, minifigure like Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker with medals. This time they made an original, very well known figure. 
Han Solo actually did come from the character encyclopedia, which I got the minifigure version as well. I suggest you guys getting minifigure versions because they're honestly much better. That's the hair piece. Um, so it's actually taped and stuff. I just wanted to build it for you guys. <laughs> so we're actually going to get this off and we're actually going to put the legs and stuff right here. So here is our Luke Skywalker from the Moss Eisley Cantina. So um, he's his legs are kind of loose, I have to say, but that's for all the promotional figures I have ever gotten. The arms and legs are kind of loose, not like in some other sets where you're hard to move and they get used over time. So here is an exclusive look at your Luke Skywalker with so much printing. It's in yellow, so it's the same. It's the exact same figure with um, two, three changes on the printing and we made the color of the printing better. They just like remade two, three um, of these uh, scratches back here. Um, I probably re-added some better paint for that. It's not the original one, but it's almost the same. So no double face because it's very old. 2004 as far as I can remember we're gonna have him on the side right there so um, we're now gonna move on to the timeline here is our official intro um, the visual dictionary here we have the UCS B-Wing Starfighter from 2012 which is um, well illustrated and um, we know that this was written by Simon B. Croft and J Jason Fry. So, um, really good work to both of you guys who um, worked on this. Um, I really appreciate the hard work and how they have actually fitted into the Star War Lego Star Wars community. And um, you will understand that in the next page. In the next, next page. Here are Chapter 1, Prequel Trilogy and Clone Wars, then Original Trilogy and Expanded Universe. Chapter 3 includes the Specialist Sets, and Chapter 4 is Beyond the Break. Much to learn, you still have Says Yoda. <laughs> so here is our introduction, with a few well-known figures. Um, so this is the Sith Warrior, Chewbacca. They, this is very, very interesting right here. And um, we will see a lot of this throughout the entire book. So this bomb trooper, which everyone in the community wants to call Neo, is actually Commander Neo. According to them, many of the figures which we have made um, mistakes and people who, like, we don't really much care for a uh, box trooper, but we would really appreciate a Commander Neo. They have clarified that that is Commander Neo. Probably wasn't originally supposed to be Commander Neo, but this book is actually really based off like the community thoughts. So this is Commander Neo for them. It's not a Bob Trooper. And according to Lego, that is officially a Bob Trooper. From what they had told us in the box, it's now a Commander Neo. So well, this is going to be a pain. I'm actually going to have to take off the camera for the uh, timeline because a lot of you guys want to have a very good look at it. So, um, here is, uh, I'll try my best not to shake, please, but pause if there are any sets you guys really want to know about. Oh god, this is going to be hard. So yeah, that 
that's 1999 and 2000. We're actually moving on to the other side now. Excuse me. So, this is probably the hardest thing I ever have to do in all this kind of stuff I actually do. It's getting you guys the timeline is the hardest. So, um, yeah. Here we have the first ATST, if you guys cannot tell. Cloud car, uh, some other small stuff. That is really cool, the Technic Super Battle Droid. <laughs> so yeah, episode 2, we have quite a few cool sets that year, 2003. Adding some episode 2 sets to the collection. We have our second AT-AT after our first one, which was a Mindstorm, wherever that is. So, yeah. Okay, next page. Yay. The thing from this book is that now it's been quite a few years, so timeline is so much longer it's like four or five pages of small sets like this and small images <laughs> excuse me this is the old Mosasi Cantina our first Death Star that is one heck of a set. Really, one set that I would actually buy if I had the money. Really, really suggest this set. The Ultimate Space Battle. Here's the 2007 wave. I actually have all of the sets except for that Millennium Falcon. So yeah. So if you guys actually want most of the sets here, I'm not gonna say too much most, but most of them that are actually in this uh, timeline have actually been reviewed, guys. So if you guys really have any doubts about any sets, you can feel free to just check out my channel, search the name, you'll probably find a good quality review. I probably have one or two that are kind of bad. But, um... All of our Clone Wars sets. That's the... Oh my god, this is pain, really. Look at the names for reference because the images are really hard to capture. For example, this you, I probably can't even tell from the screen of my camera what that is, but it's the Hyena Droid Bomber. So what is, oh that's an ATT. <laughs> what is this? It's a Speed Reich. Yeah, it's really hard to tell. Um, probably not for you guys. Here we finally get... We ended in 2009 in the previous version. We finally have 2010 up to 2014. Let's hope to not get too many pages. This is probably the best UCS set that I don't have. Like, I really, really wanted to get this. So, uh, yeah, I do suggest you guys getting that set. Actually, like, a friend have it, has it, and I enjoyed it. I spent a lot of time at my friend's house, and, um... We actually did review this set. And I spent so much time with it that I actually got bored of it. So now I don't... I didn't actually want it when I... Could have gotten it for Christmas, but I said no thanks. I'd rather take this one. And it was okay. Like, for UCS set, both of these are my favorites, so, yeah. 
do want to mention they actually I haven't seen this set being um, talked about in the dictionary so that's disappointing that Imperial V Woohoo yay the last two pages so in 2012 we meet our first planet sets so that was kind of bad I mean I don't know about you guys but like probably the Death Star or one or two others to get the figures are cool but why would you buy so many planet sets and spend so much money on them? I mean, they're so expensive. We meet 2013 with the big Ewok village. Not going too much in depth about these because we're going to be meeting them in all of the entire dictionary. If you guys don't want to be spoiled, I suggest you guys, I suggest to end at the timeline because there are so many cool stuff in this dictionary and stuff that I mean, I'm already spoiling for you guys the timeline. I'm trying to get a hold of this set, Battle of Hoth, certainly after the the summer vacations, I will be reviewing this set for you guys. So yeah, and um, here are the only summer sets, I mean this isn't even summer. You guys can probably already tell all the ones that are missing, but that's the only three that they talk about. And honestly, the three best. <laughs> Well, we have the anti-vehicle cannon. Yep. So, we finally enter into a new chapter, and it is the chapter 1 prequel and trilogy and Clone Wars. So, for this chapter, we're actually gonna move on. I'm going to be moving the pages slowly. I'm not gonna actually go and take the camera or zoom into every single paragraph. Um, because if you guys actually want to do all that, you, I'm pretty sure you guys just have to buy the book. Like, I don't really, I don't think it would be appropriate for me to actually, um, do that kind of stuff. Like, you guys, like me showing you guys the book, so then every time you want to actually know something, you just rewatch the video. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if you, I'm really sorry for you guys if you're like, in my case, where it's very hard to actually get this. But I don't feel that it's like good for me to actually show you every single paragraph, every single detail of every thing. So um, I'm gonna actually talk and stuff about the pages. You you'll see in the next page how I do it. But I'm not gonna go too 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 much in depth because a lot of pages, and um, it's really you should really find a way to buy it. And I'm so sorry if you guys can't, but I just cannot. Um, do it like this because um, there are probably some rights and stuff of copyright and stuff that I may not be aware of. So um, here is actually how am I going to do it for every single page. Hopefully you guys can actually see the entire page. Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, um, here we got Anakin, Naboo Starfighter. One thing I do want to quickly mention is, let me get that shown to you guys, so yeah. There is this one thing called set history, and it um, has, and it really just shows the previous versions, explains their name, their number, and their year, so yeah, that's how I do it. Um, so yeah, we have uh, updated versions, uh, set history again, pod racing, I'm going to take the end, another example, set history, set history. So yeah, it goes on like this in every single page, and some sets go up to have four previous versions. So yeah, that's pod racing, here we got Watto, um, that was the Star Wars bucket which gave us um, a mini representation of the pod racing with various, various pod racers. So, yeah. 
Next is Obi-Wan Kenobi with his Starfighter. We've got Obi-Wan. Um, none of them have had set history on this page for some reason. Um, Jedi Interceptor Red, which is really a collector's piece. I really would wish I could get this. Probably off of me one day. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Jedi Interceptor Blue. If you guys want to know more about this set or this set, feel free to check out my channel reviews. The Jedi Order, where we have most of the Jedis. We have Jedi Bob, which is um, a Mr. Jedi that was added in the first version of the gunship. And we have all the other, well, a few of the other Clone Wars um, Jedi Masters released. So yeah. Um, next here we have the Jedi Fleet, all the Jedi Starfighters, um, all the Jedi Astromax, um, the green one, brown one, golden pink one, golden um, purple one. Have green one, red and green one, and red one with white. So yeah, I'm just randomly saying these numbers like so many variations, and most of them do look quite ugly. Like such this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one may look okay, but still. T6 shuttle, horrible set. A few starfighters. A few of them are bad, a few of them are good. And the Republic Cruiser, an awesome set that I have. Chancellor Palpatine with his Venator, his shuttle, a separate shuttle. Then we have a, a bit about Count Dooku, about his dual on Genosis. Um, the Solar Sailor, and we have a set history for Count Dooku's speeder bike. So, yeah. Actually, three versions of this have been made, so that's pretty cool. Sith Followers, where we have uh, the Night Speeder, Sith Infiltrator, which has three versions, and we meet Savage, Asage, and Maul. So, yeah. The Republic Army. Now, I'm sorry, guys, but for this page, we're doing something different, which is not the best. I'm actually going to take the camera, because this is most of people's favorite page, so I'm actually going to go a bit in depth on this page, so that you guys can have a good look at it. So the Republic Army, we need the ETR to with previous versions. We have our ATAP walker with the previous version. ATTEs. Republic 87 cannon. So yeah, it's sad for me not to have that. Fighter tank. Swamp speeders. So yeah. Actually, the new one is in set history because it's, it was really worth better talking about this one. I agree with them. ATOT Walker and the Turbo Tank. So yeah, that's that for the page. Really um really a cool page guys. Um, try to get everything in the shot. So, next is the Republic Navy. I'm pretty sure you guys want a tour of this one as well. So, yeah. Here we go. The Republic Navy. Shuttle, Z95. It'll go pretty, pretty much straightforward. Good luck at um, our Republic frigate, the V wing with its set history, Torrent, R170, our dropship, and the police gunship. And at last, probably one of the last pages you guys really would care about, 
and um, I'm not going to go too much in depth because um, it's not necessary, but you guys will probably know that this was a great addition to the set, to the book, actually. So, Lego gave us an entire page for the Republic gunship. It's the newest one, obviously. It has set history right here. Let me get this thing turned around so that I can tell you guys can see everything. So, yeah. So, you get an entire page that explains about the Republic gunship. Oh my god, this is another thing where I have to take out the camera because it's important and it has some very interesting valid points. So, um, they show us every single clone trooper, the pages sideways, even the promotional ones. Um, so yeah. Lego learned from their mistakes and even renamed their trooper, Star Corps Trooper, the one that, the first attempt at F212 Trooper. So yeah, they actually renamed it and actually call it that they actually made a Star Corps Trooper, which is pretty awesome how Lego goes back to their mistakes and something similar for our commander Neil. So they clearly say that it's a commander, that it's a phase 2 clone commander. So that's pretty cool, you get an entire page on your Clone Wars clone troopers. Um, all the clone troopers you don't see and all the figures you don't get talked about, you will see at the end what happens. Lego reserves some pretty cool stuff. Separate Army. So yeah, of the power droid. Joy transports, battle droids, staps, cannons, NTTs, assault tanks, so yeah. We didn't get the battlefield droids, so these are actual droids. Tank droid, spider droid, dwarf spider droid, droid echo, which has one, two, three, four, five, six versions. Hellfire droid, so yeah. Then um, go to the Separatist Navy, we find that there are five Vulture Droid models, three Tri Droid models, um, Droid Bomber, and the Droid Gunship. We didn't get the General Grievous with his Malevolence, his Starfighters, the Magna Guard Starfighter, and his Wheel Bike. So, yeah. Move on to an entire page for the Geonosian family with two of their cannons. Um, one of their starfighters, they do not talk about the old Geonosian starfighter, but they do talk about some battle droids, some of the Geonosians. They don't talk anything about the old one except for the cannon, which is called the LRIK cannon from 2003. Um, so, yeah. For most of the for most of the pages like this one where they would go in depth about the old one, it's really worth it to have both versions because the old, older one focuses more on two older sets and this one focuses on two newer sets. So having both versions is really the best way to do things because the older sets they just put them in set history and that's it. The rest you have to find out by yourself. So yeah. Uh, Naboo and Gungans, new page called Umbarans and Mandalorians. And um, it's a pretty boring page because I hate Mandalorians. Called Death Watch. I mean, they're cool Mandalor. I mean, Mandalorians are cool, but the ones in the battle pack look ugly. And previous looks ugly. The Darth Maul one looks kind of awkward. And the Umbaran MHC cannon doesn't interest me at all. We come to uh, a page which is doubled like this sideways again, called Bounty Hunters with Django Fett Slave 1 with Django Fett. No new version of Django Fett is shown, but there is a new version of Django Fett's son, Boba Fett. In depth about Boba Fett and his Slave 1, we meet other Bounty Hunters from the Clone Wars. 
as well as Zam Wessel's airspeeder right over here, guys. So yeah. Next page is Cad Bane. Cad Bane has two pages for himself because he is an awesome bounty hunter. I used to hate him, now he's kind of cool. I mean, it was annoying how he would appear and just kill off the best characters. And he was annoying to catch and stuff. He's annoying to watch. But I've started to like him, however, um, with all these uh, new kind of stuff. Um, Cad Bane is pretty darn cool with um, with how uh, Lego and um, Star Wars is making him an evolution and making him a better character. So he's a new and cool um, character, I could say. He comes into Star Hopper, we meet his speeder, and for some reason the pirate tank enters this section. A new page as well added is called um, Anakin Skywalker the Fallen Jedi. We meet um, the the battle uh, to Palpatine, Duel on Mustafar, his interceptor when he's kind of evil, or we could say um, turn to the dark side. His battle damaged Anakin and his uh, rehabilitation, rehabilitation center. We as well do get both of these droids in the uh, Jedi Interceptor Green in 2012. It is a great addition um, that adds to your jewel on Mustafar if you guys have both sets. Um, that is something very cool. You will understand what I mean if you had both sets. And at last, it is the same page, almost the same, um, called Wookiees, and we just have um, the new 2014 Troopers right here and right here. Talking about uh, Commander Gree and both his troops. Otherwise, the page is the same, with an added Chewbacca on this side and a Tarful on the other. Chapter 2, the original trilogy and expanded unit with this, with this set, which is called the um, Battle of Endor. Chapter 2 starts with Luke Skywalker, where we have the um, 2009 version of the Visual Dictionary Celebration um, extra figure, which I do not have. Um, we also have the um, X-Wing Starfighter, four previous versions. They actually explain attack mode, cruising mode. Um, they do talk quite a lot about that. X-Wing, making it tempting and interesting for um, any Star Wars fan, I don't. Ha I do not have the. Um, I have basically the same version, but it's just a few years older. I mean, no big deal. Luke's land speeder, where the most recent version is from the Moss Eisley Cantina, and with a total of four versions ever made. We also meet Luke from the Ewok village on the side. On this side, we have a one page um, where the entire sand crawler explains and stuff. We have a sand crawler, all its functions, its figures, its droid cargo, with um, the escape pod, which is droid escape, with its previous version. And on this side, we have Jedi in hiding, which is Yoda's hut. Um, um, about the little hut, the figures, and some other figures from the sand crawler. We move then on to Han Solo and Chewbacca. Um, so here we meet young Han Solo, which is an actual figure. Um, so yeah, apparently Han had some... This is not movie accurate, but apparently according to Lego's Yoda Chronicles or the Padawan Menace, Yoda had some... Han Solo apparently appears as a young kid for some reason. Han Solo and Chewbacca, here we have the entire Mos Eisley Cantina. Um, he, with set history, here we talk about the Han Solo versions. Here is the special Han Solo Hoth from last year from the Polybag exclusive. 
Like this here we had Dora Forever. On this side we have the um, playset version of the Millennium Falcon with two um, of the set history. Celebration Hand, which is right here. So yeah. Just gonna leave him here and put this guy on the side. So yeah. Moving on, we finally meet the Millennium Falcon, which is the UCS version. All you can do on this is open and close the cockpit, as well as add Luke Skywalker into the laser turret. So yeah. This is life-size compared to the actual minifigure. It's the biggest Lego Star Wars set. And like um, the last and previous version of this dictionary, he has one page dedicated to the set. Then we have Emperor Palpatine with his shuttle and his appearances, his sets, his hologram, his cards, and Darth Vader appears as a light up, his TIE Fighter, which has two previous versions, and one UCS version and different version of Darth Vader. The Death Star, um, it's pretty much like previous last time. You just have two pages showing one side and the other shows the other side of the Death Star. Um, just got um, just you know many things pointing out what what is this and that. If you have the Death Star, this page is kind of useless. If not, then it's pretty interesting and should be able to convince you to get the Death Star. Actually, didn't convince me because I don't have it. So um, the Imperial Army, where we have the new Stormtrooper 2014. New uh, ad from 2014 with four previous versions. Two, um, uh, two of the new figures from the ad ads and speeder bike history one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six versions of the speeder bike so far. Pretty exaggerated, I think, but that's okay. Um, speeder bike. They talk about the ATSDs with the, the two previous versions. A total of three. Talking about sand troopers, um, the dewback, the e web blaster, which is a crappy blaster that gets destroyed before even being finished of assembling. Um, we have the Imperial Navy, same page here, just added the new TIE Fighter and the Triple Laser Cannon. We still meet the landing craft, TIE D, TIE Interceptor, TIE Bomber, and the Battle Pack Dropship. One entire page for the Star Destroyer and half a page explaining about the new 2014 Star Destroyer but they're not revealing too much as um, the set has yet not um, been released. So yeah. Um, they do talk about set history and stuff. Next is the Cloud City. There is no change on this page. Pretty sure maybe they added one brick fact or changed a few words around, but except for that, on the looks and stuff, there is no change. So we're gonna move on to the next page, which has just this ship of change where they talk about um, the different Y Wings um, versions of four different versions. Here we have Tentive um, 4, which is obviously not new. We have Home 1, which is not new as well, so we're just going to move on. The Echo Base, now this one is a new page. We do get two pages for half because of all the releases. The Wampa Cave, the actual Echo Base, which is a very bad set if you ask me. It's, it's good for playing, but it just looks ugly because it should be covered up into a base. This one, I mean, this is, they just give you the inside of the base, really. You have to make the outside. Here is the Hoth base, which, um, Hoth Rebel base from 2007, that I have reviewed. It is awesome. You just have the door where you can fit your speeder. However, this is only the door. It would need to be, um, it obviously needs to be remade, like, with something behind, so um, it's really hard for a Lego to make 
off bases, as far as I can tell. We then move on to Rebels on Hoth with um, the battle packs talking. Here we have the Echo Base um, trenches, the Imperial Probe Droids, Tower Cannon and Trench from um, the newer sets that are coming out, and the Snow Speeder history. There are five total Snow Speeders. We are now in 2008. 14 with a total of 6. The 6th one has not been released right now into the book. Jabba the Hutt. This page is the same with an added little rata and talking about the new Jabba the Hutt. So yeah. That's the very very ugly Jabba's Palace that I would never even think of buying. Hmm. Whoops, I actually turned this on with my shoulder. That's some scale. Jealous Palace, I'm talk about the newer one, which explain how it can be combined with the Rancor Pit, and they talk about all the figures and its features. We move on to Java's Sail Barge. This is a very boring page for me because I do not like Java's Sail Barge. I really find it an ugly and boring set because it's really nothing much more than that. Um, but for all of you fans, I'm still going to talk about it. Set history comes. Um, the older one had the same size barge with a speeder and the... I don't know how you call that thing. The, yeah, the Sarlacc pit. And um, this new one version comes separately from the actual... Um, Speeder or Sand Skiff. So, yeah. Um, Sand Skiff, the Sarlacc, new figures, the. That's actually how it's called. It's called Katana. The Katana. Or however you spell that. Or. And here's a back view, so it's very skinny, as far as I can tell. Moving on, we have the Battle of Endril with our newest um, A-Wing. However, we have two B-Wings when the 2014 new one actually is released, but they couldn't bother to add it in there. Set history for the catapults and for that Ewok um, glider. We have the shield generator bunker, which is uh, exclusive and once and has only been made once. We also will have a rebel control center. One new page added for the Ewok Village, also known as the Bright Tree Village. That's how the Ewoks call it. Um, it's a really cool, um, it's like a massive UCS set, so they give it an entire page to talk about it. So, um, overall, I cannot complain about this set. This is probably one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets made that I do not have. Um, that's disappointing for me, but yeah. Probably gonna try to get a hold of this um, as soon as possible. So um, the entire page just sums it up. Expanded universe. They talk about the tie crawler, um, rock shadow. That weird tie defender thing. Old Republic stuff and um, Yoda Chronicles. We're still missing another Yoda Chronicle set. That has been released, but LEGO could not bother make it as well. Here we have the um, Chapter 3 Specialist sets um, with all the UCS. This is the new UCS um, 2013 ship. Um, so, Specialist sets, we start with our Planet sets. So we have all the Planet series and sets right here. Um, not much to say. Other than this one, so the Angel one, the Coruscant one are cool, the rest are kind of boring. So, yeah. Moving on, we have all the new 2014, I think it is. Yeah, 2014 um, Winter Wave Microfighters. We have six. Next year, we're getting um, six more, as far as I know. So yeah, Turbo Tank against AAT, um, the Millennium Falcon against the TIE Interceptor, and the Star Trailer against the X-Wing. 
Next, it is the mini sets, and we have all of the mini sets and promotional poly bags that have been released. So yeah, promotional poly bags is like with some mini stuff. And we have um, two or three pages of this. Not sure. Let's see, two pages. We then move on to Lego Technic, where we talk about the Stormtrooper, the Super Battle Droid, which is pretty awesome. Hellfire Droid, um, Darth Vader, Droid Edgar. So yeah, some pretty awesome uh, Lego Technic stuff. I really suggest you guys getting at least one of these. They're really worth it. Finally, we meet our first UCS sets. Um, the first UCS X-Wing, Yoda, Naboo, um, Tant 4, Darth Maul, TIE Interceptor. Moving on, we meet the same page. Both this one and the previous one are both the same. Um, we have the UCS ATST. We as well have the um, UCS TIE Advanced, General Grievous, Death Star, Snow Speeder, and Imperial Star Destroyer. Moving on to a new page, it is the newer UCS sets. With the Red 5, Super Star Destroyer, the Shuttle, B Wing, R2, and Obi Wan Starfighter. Next are the seasonal sets, which are the Advent Calendars 2012, or something, yeah, 2011, 2012, and 2013, which is um, this one. Yeah, this one. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much sums it all up. So, um, here, um, it was Yoda, then Darth Maul, and then Jango Fett as the... How do you call them? Yeah, the Santa. So, Beyond the Brick, that is where they make your Lego sets, guys. This is the Lego group making Lego sets, so this is worth it so much that I am actually even going to, to take a look at every single image. Um, here in the background you can obviously tell that they are working on this. has been released. Here they are looking at some uh, building the Moss Eisley Cantina, sand crawlers, choosing the bricks, and uh, many parts. We can obviously tell some Clone Trooper bodies and Wookiee helmets, as well as Anakin's hairpiece over there. On this side, we can tell them designing the new AT-80. Um, designing some newer 2012 and 2013 sets. On the other side, um, what is this? Um, okay, so designing new ad hats. Um, Designing the new figures, designing that um, shell um, that we're like bombing um, AAT, it's like an AAT that has this like bombing thing from the Clone Wars. So they actually thought of designing it but never released it. That's kind of sad. Although, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have bought it. It looks pretty decent compared to the other very bad sets. So here's designing LEGO Star Wars, I'm going to show you the images, but they're basically just talking about how they make their sets. So something I'm very, very pleased with is our really that they actually, I just released a video a few days ago that I made uh, one or two months ago about this set. And they even made it, but they never released it for some reason that probably they never got a good design out of it, uh, couldn't find, wouldn't know if it would sell well, but this set actually was designed by LEGO, and um, they actually thought of releasing it, but they did not. So that is really, really awesome, guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the future LEGO may be able to make one of these. I really, really, really would buy one or two of those if they release it. Next is merchandising. Yay! 
please, this is not another boring page. Actually, I think it is. Okay, so here it's all the magnets, key lights, um, keychains and stuff that have been released, watches, um, mouse pads, so yeah. It's really just a few little extras that you can find in the Lego stores. Next is the promotional pieces, which are um, the massive um, life-size X-Wing in Times Square. So they made it look like it's Lego, but actually it's made out of Lego, not giant Lego pieces, but actual mini Lego pieces. So that's pretty darn cool. Next is some exclusive stuff all around. Same as the comic, comic exclusives, the speeder, Sith Infiltrator, Boba Fett, and the Stealth Starfighter. We as well do meet um, all these exclusive figures which are extremely rare. The fan creations of, um, of the next page is um, the Steed Hangar, um, we have the Echo Base, a Frozen Han Solo which is actually made all out of Lego and it is life size. The Death Star and Carbon Freezing Chamber, as well as the massive um, Moss Isley um, recreation by um, a fan. So these are all fan creations. Next, they talk about the video games. So, yeah, just video games talking TV specials. And next, it is the minifigure gallery. I'm gonna give you a look at every single minifigure that has ever been made and existed to finish off this um, this review. So, when my camera decides to focus, we'll get started. First, we have Anakin. I'm not gonna talk because it's too many models to talk about. But yet, you can tell so many variations. Obi-Wan Kenobi really has a lot of fan love for all these recreations. R2. So yeah, we have we got we got like five of these pages, so I'm gonna hurry up on these R2 units, please. Nice pick picture. So I had to even add the exclusive, like any variation, any detail has to be added. Any like special edition, even if it was the rarest minifigure like this one, they still added in the minifigure. So this is literally every single figure that ever was made or varied. And um, that is actually pretty much shown by the last one. Even the Shadow Orf Trooper, which was a very hard to find exclusive polybag figure, was added. So both this, there's just like the um, the belt is varied in, in color and that is even added in the book. So that is pretty cool to see. Lego did pay um, many attention. Still didn't fix that name for this one though. It did fix it on one side but not on the other, huh? Hilarious. So yeah, there are various Jedi's you guys can collect if you guys are into that. Wow, so many Battle Droid pilot variations. It's pretty insane. So yeah, so many assassin droids as well, all kinds of droids. So yeah, we're still on our way. Um, where is the figure? This is the 
exclusive Luke Skywalker 2014 one you do get. You can obviously tell a bit of difference in color and printing, yeah. So yeah. You would actually get Luke Skywalker in this format for best spin. Best spin outfit. So so many Luke Skywalker variations. Well, oh, many layers as well. This should be called a sport. Filming this. Feel free to put pause, guys, because if you have any doubt about any figure, um, I'm trying to capture detail, but not too much, because you guys really should actually buy the set for the detail. So yeah, this hand solo as a kid was actually made. It's kind of insane when you think about it. They invent a story, make, make it all up and stuff, and they actually do release the figure. I mean, earlier I was searching for a difference between these two dudes, and there actually is none, it's just different times they were released. And they even made that a variation, so you guys, that's how accurate this minifigure um, dictionary is. I mean, there's just the names and the year released. No set numbers, but still. I'm not asking for much more than this. So if you ever, ever doubt a figure has ever been made, just look at it. I mean, sometimes you even think they're fan creations. No, they were actually released like that Han Solo kid guy. And the most insane thing is how they even ended off. With this one figure, I didn't even know it existed. It was just this like exclusive rare for this like Yoda Chronicle book. So yeah. So that is how the book basically ends. We um, do as well get at last a set index. So unlike an actual um, dictionary, we do get a set index for um, every single Lego Star Wars set made and sold or even just made. And at last the acknowledgements. So thank you for watching to the last page this review guys it was awesome um this book is really awesome and worth it hope you guys enjoyed it um i do as well so um feel free to comment rate and subscribe guys and check out my review my channel for more reviews um i'm kind of tired now for making this it's been i don't even know how long um this video has been taking in time Probably like a small hour or 40 minutes, 30 minutes, so I'll stop talking and I'll end the video here. See you guys for our next review. Bye.